Hey everybody, what's going on? Brandon here with another printer video. And today what we're going to be talking about is which tank printer should you buy? There's the HP, Canon, and Epson printer models. Epson has the EcoTank models. Uh, Canon has the MegaTank models. And HP has the Smart Tank models. And so in this video, I want to guide you and give you some general information how each one of these models compare. Pretty similar models within the lineups uh, to get a good comparison. We're gonna be looking at things like uh, how much black and color ink are you gonna be able to get out of each printer. Whether or not these printers have smart task options or if they have an app. The display, is the display a touch screen and what is the appearance of that touch screen and the usability of it. And then the paper tray. Does it have a paper tray on the bottom, on the back, how much capacity, and what does that mean for you? Does it have double-sided printing? Then we're going to talk a little bit about pricing. Pricing does fluctuate. I'll go more into that later on in the video. And then I'll give you my own personal experience. I have reviewed some version of each one of these brands here on my channel. And I'll also include a review video links to each one of these printers that I'm talking about uh, that I have done here on my channel. Now given that I'm going to be talking about three different specific printers, I am going to be leaving a link for each printer in the description below. Those are affiliate links and they do help me, they help the channel. So if you go through there, if you wanted any additional information or you wanted to check current pricing, go through the links in the description below and you can either purchase, you can look at more information, or you can continue shopping and looking at other printer models from those links. Before I go any further, if this video ends up being helpful, I'd appreciate it if you liked. If you have any questions at all about anything I talk about here in the video, or you wanted to add some commentary or your own knowledge, uh, go ahead and comment below. And then finally, if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. Now, one of the reasons you may be looking at some of these printers to purchase is it may be that your current printer is not printing a certain color, printing faded, printing choppy, or a certain color isn't printing from your current printer, and that has caused you to try and look for a new printer. Now, if that's the case for you, I didn't want to mention my product, the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. This is a cleaning kit that I have used to fix multiple, many different printer models here on my channel, there are a ton of videos uh, showing you how to use this product on various different models. So if you go to my channel page and then you go to the search bar, you can look up your printer or if it's a similar printer model that ends up coming up in the search results, uh, those instructions most likely will be 100% uh, compatible with your printer. And you wanna try that out so that you can save yourself some money. People have saved themselves a lot of money by going this route and you end up saving your current printer, you end up saving any ink that you had set aside as extra ink, then you save yourself the hassle and cost of having to buy a new printer. So there's some options here for you. There's gonna be a link for the Best Printers Cleaning Kit in the description below. So if you wanted to pause this video, uh, check out some other videos on my channel, get this product, and then come back to this video, you're more than welcome to do that. All right, so as I have said, I have reviewed each one of these printers and I have done unboxing videos on each printer that I'm gonna be talking about. So I have some hands-on experience with each one of these, but looking at just the data or spec sheet on each of these printers, I really wanted to take a look at a few different factors that may be a deciding factor for you whether you buy the printer or not. One of the biggest marketing messages with these tank printers, whether it's the Smart Tank, the Eco Tank, or the uh, Super Tank, is that you're going to be able to print more for less money. Because the cost of the ink is so high with ink cartridges that now a lot of these companies have moved over to the tank printers which use bottled ink. And that bottle it has a lot more ink than you do in a regular ink cartridge. And so you're, you're able to yield much higher page volume uh, per each bottle. And this is accurate. I have seen uh, that ink cartridges are extremely expensive compared to these bottled inks, but I'll go even a step further. I'm not gonna cover uh, the cost of ink bottles for each of these models because you can find very inexpensive ink going the remanufactured route. 
So to make this easy, if you choose one of these printers and you decided that you, you wanted to go with the remanufactured ink versus the branded ink, which is going to save you at least 50% or more, I've done a video on this as well, then what you do is go through the link I'm sending you to Amazon. Once you buy the printer, uh, look up the type of ink that the printer requires and then type in that printer ink model, but then after it type in remanufactured. And that's going to pull up the same type of ink you're going to see that it's a third party company, not that H, not HP, Epson or Canon that is selling this product. It is the same exact ink. You're not going to have any issues, especially with the bottled ink and you're going to save yourself a lot of money. So I won't be covering the cost of the actual ink bottles in this video simply because of that fact. So the three printer models that I'm going to be using uh, to give you this information are pretty similar in their functionality. Now you can go up in the models and you can get more features or you can go lower and get lower prices and higher prices uh, subsequently if you go up and down. And I'm going to be comparing three companies, HP, Canon, and Epson. So the model I'm going to be using for the HP Smart Tank model is the HP Smart Tank 651. I just did an unboxing video on this printer, so it's fresh in my mind and I have all the information here with me. For the Epson, I'm going to be using the Epson EcoTank 3760. And then for a Canon, I'm going to be using the Canon Pixma G6020, which is a mega tank printer. Right off the bat, the first big marketing tool that these companies are using and it's an interesting data point is how many color and black pages will these printers be able to yield and so the answer for the HP 651 is 6,000 black pages and 8,000 color pages for the Epson EcoTank 3760 it's a 7,500 black pages and 6,000 color pages and for the Canon G6020, it's 6,000 black and 7,700 color pages. Now there's some little bit of differences here and there. Uh, notably with the Epson EcoTank, you're getting a lot less color pages, about 2,000 less than from what you get with the HP 651, and then 1,700 less than you do with the Canon. So you get more color ink with the HP and Canon tank printers, but you get the most black pages with the Epson EcoTank model. If you're printing off a lot of black pages, you know, monochrome, uh, grayscale color prints, uh, then the Epson EcoTank is going to yield you the most pages. If you're looking for color, the HP and the Canon will yield the most HP even more than the Canon. Now along with this information, what is not advertised but is in the fine print is recommended monthly volume of pages. And so for the HP, it's 200 to up to 500 pages in a month is what they recommend. For the Epson EcoTank, it is up to 800 pages. And then for Canon, they have not posted this information unfortunately, so we don't know what the Canon. But with the Epson, we see that on a monthly basis, you have 300 more pages that you can print. And I would stick to those recommendations because the manufacturer knows if you go over that amount and you start printing more, uh, there could be some potential issues with the system and uh, specifically with the ink system. So that should be a factor in your decision as well. The Epson EcoTank has the highest volume of pages, which is 800. And then you can only compare it to the HP Smart Tank 651, which is up to 500 pages. The Canon is not posted, but I would safely assume uh, that it's in between those two numbers as well. I'm really not going to go into features like Smart Tasks, um, you know, voice activated printing, Alexa. All of these printers have some form of that, and they usually have all of the same smart features, and they all have their own separate app. The HP has its app, Canon has its app, Epson has its app. The most functional and my favorite app uh, out of the three is the HP app. You have a lot of smart tasks on there, a lot of different options, and it's very, very smooth to use. The other two are a little bit more difficult. They haven't been developed as well as the HPs. Now what about the display on these printers? The HP Smart Tank 651 does have a touch screen. Uh, the Epson EcoTank this specific model does not have a touchscreen. You have buttons on the right side panel, 
on the right side of the screen that you can use but it is a color displayed whereas the HP Smart Tanks display is monochrome it's a black and white screen display and then the Canon has a very very basic screen uh, it really doesn't have it's a it's a very small screen and it's also black and white if you were doing a lot of photo printing and you wanted a lot of different functionality and you use the screen a lot I would go with the Epson and I would go up one model uh, because you get a touch screen as well as that really nice color display so Epson EcoTank not with this specific model but with the higher model wins the display game because the HP Smart Tank another aspect of this is that there are only two Smart Tank models the HP Smart Tank 551 and the HP Smart Tank 651 with the Epson EcoTank lineup you have you know from the 2700 models all the way up to the 4700 models and then you got a lot of different factions of those models as well so you have a lot of options when it comes to the Epson EcoTank models which is one of the things I really like about the Epson EcoTanks. Now the Canon Mega Tanks uh, they have about two three options but they have a little bit more than HP but not as much as Epson. As far as the type of paper that you can use with these printers they all print photo paper and they all print cardstock and so you have a little bit of different specialty papers that you can do with one or the other but for the most part you can use glossy photo paper on the majority of them plain paper you can print on envelopes and on cardstock another really important aspect to printing is is it double-sided unfortunately with the HP Smart Tank 651 and 551 you don't have double-sided printing with the Epson EcoTank model you do and with the Canon uh, Mega Tank model, you do also. So, what about the paper tray? The HP Smart Tank 651 has a back paper tray that fits about 100 sheets, and that's the lowest capacity because the Epson Eco Tank has a bottom paper tray that holds 150 sheets. And then you have the Canon Mega Tank model that has a rear and front bottom paper tray. That front bottom paper tray holds 250 sheets and that back paper tray holds 100 sheets. And so the Canon Mega Tank has the most capability when it comes to the paper trays. You got the back paper tray, which has its very important functions. And then the bottom paper tray, which equally as important. And so in this instance, moving from the HP Epson up to the Canon gets progressively better with the paper trays. HP being the worst, Canon being the best, and Epson right in the middle. All right, so one of the last things with these printers is pricing. Where do these printers fall with pricing? Now, at the time that you're watching this video, right now it's August 30th, 2021. You could be watching this a year from now, two years from now, six months from now, and the price may have changed. I've made a video about uh, why printer prices have been so high uh, you know in 2020 and up until now if you want to check that out that's on my channel but that's the thing is that s printer prices do fluctuate just like everything else just like the used cars new cars houses other products the PlayStation 5 you know is still astronomically high and I don't think you can still get one at Best Buy unless you're lucky uh, and so printers work the same way if there's a very high demand the prices are gonna go up and you're not gonna find them stocked in store uh, because everyone came and bought them up especially with what's going on right now in society uh, printers are becoming a commodity a hot commodity because of work from home and then when you come back to the office uh, the current printer may have broken down so there's a lot of different factors that I've taken into consideration with this uh, to come up with an answer to give you and so all of that to say if you want to know current pricing check the links in the description below for each printer uh, you're going to get an accurate pricing but currently i will tell you that the lowest price out of these three printers is the canon mega tank model it's about 280 dollars don't quote me on that at all uh, the next uh, price subsequent to that one uh, which is higher is the epson eco tank 3760 that one's about 400 dollars and then the HP Smart Tank 651 is about $450. That's the highest price. So you got Canon, Epson, and HP with prices going from the lowest all the way to the highest. And so looking at all this information and looking at the different specs that we've talked about, just based on that and, and not including my experience with these products, on the surface, 
the Canon Mega Tank is the winner. It's the clear winner. It's the lowest price, and you've got some of the main functionality of these other uh, of the Epson and the HP. Uh, but plus some, you know, the paper tray is better. Uh, the display, you know, is a very basic, but then again, you can use the app and you can kind of go around that. And if you're not big with touch screens, it doesn't matter anyways. I mean, you got good capacity, you got uh, all the things these other printers have, plus some. With a lot of this information, the Canon ended up being the better printer uh, with a lot of these different aspects. And it's the lowest price. And next after that, uh, the best tank printer out of these three would be the Epson EcoTank model. It's a higher price, but you get all this functionality and you've got a nice display on it. You also have a better paper tray. The one deciding factor, of course, is, you know, that black and color uh, page yield where you have more black pages than you do color. So you have to decide if you're printing more black pages than color. And then you have the monthly page volume that is much higher than the HP. The data is missing for the Canon, so we don't know, but that's the highest out of the three as far as we know. Then you have the highest price, which is the HP Smart Tank 651. You know, it doesn't have a great paper tray. It has the lowest quality paper tray out of these three. The color yield, you know, is pretty good, but the monthly volume is pretty low as well. You do have a touchscreen, but the touchscreen is a monochrome and it's only one-sided printing. There's no double-sided like the other two. And so you have polar opposites. When you really look at the details, you've got on one hand the HP Smart Tank 651 that is the highest price and has the least features really when you look at all of them. And then you have the Canon which is the lowest priced and has the better features of the three. And then you have the one right in the middle which is the Epson EcoTank. Now if we're talking about experience, this video has led me to the same conclusion I have been led to with when I reviewed the HP Smart Tank printers, both of them, the 551 and 651, recently I did the 651, is that they are overpriced and you do not get the functionality that you should be getting for the price. So you have high price, low functionality. So I don't recommend the HP Smart Tank printers. However, if you did decide to go that route, I've given you the information and you can look into some more information. Maybe there's a specific reason why you want to go with HP and that's completely understandable. I don't want to hinder anyone. Just personally, I don't recommend them. Next is the Canon Mega Tank models. I've reviewed some of those as well. I've reviewed at least two of them. And what I found was they're good overall, they're good with their functionality, they're good sturdy printers, but I got the feeling, if you look at the basic Canon models, you know, they're pretty flimsy. Um, they have good functionality, but they're very lightweight. Not that that's a bad thing necessarily, but they're made pretty flimsily and, and the technology behind them is not the best. You've got the lowest technology, in my opinion, with the Canon. The feeling that I get is that you took that flimsy little printer and then you put some tanks on it and you really just turned it into a mega tank. It has all the functionality and it yields, you know, a good amount of pages, color and black. And then you've got the paper trays on it that are really good, but it's still kind of that same type of setup. There's nothing special about it is what I'm trying to say. And so that brings me to the Epson Eco Tank, which I have a lot of experience with. I have reviewed most of them. And what I can tell you in a few words with the Epson Eco Tank models is they are the best value and they are the best quality and the most reliable. That's why I always recommend the Epson EcoTank models. They are very good printers. You're paying a little bit more, but you're not paying as high as HP. And so you're getting right in the middle, but you're getting the best quality tank printer. I highly recommend the Epson EcoTank models. And that's what my experience tells me. Now, if I didn't review any of those printers and I didn't have much experience and I just looked at the surface, I would tell you the Canon Mega Tank is the one to go with. But from experience, I'm not recommending that as my number one. My number one is the Epson Eco Tank. Next is the Canon Mega Tank. And then last, and I don't even recommend, the HP Smart Tank. They have to change something with their setup. They need to make the printer better to justify the price or they need to bring the price lower and still adjust some of these other things some of the other aspects of the printer. And so I've given you all of the factual information. If you want to look up the data sheets on the printers that I talked about, it's a quick Google search, look up the PDFs. You can verify everything that I've talked about here in this video. I have really no self-interest in promoting one printer over the other. I am simply giving you specifications for each printer. 
I gave, I gave you how they compared to each other, talked about the pricing, and then I included my experience. And so all of that combined brought me to my conclusions, and I hope that that is helpful for you. Now again, just like I have experience with some of these printers and understanding and having used each one of these printers, I know from experience that printers have issues. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you fall into that category of someone that their printer is not working currently because it's not printing color or it's printing blank pages, I always recommend the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. Again, linked below. And you can find some instructional videos here on this channel. It's a quick search to be able to find your model or something similar. Uh, so you can use those instructions along with the product and you can save yourself some money. I hope this channel ends up being a, a resource for you. If you found this video to be helpful, again, make sure to like, questions or any knowledge that you have or any comments, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. I hope that these videos are informative. I hope that they help you in making uh, good buying decisions with your printers. And I look forward to doing this going on into the future. And if there's new printer models that come out, I review them. New issues that I find along the way with certain printer models, I do make a video on how to repair them. Everything to do with printers is what you're gonna find here on this channel. So remember all of the product links, remember all of the video links so that you're able to reference them. I hope that I've painted a clear picture for you to be able to make a decision. And I hope that I've given you some options such as the Best Printers Cleaning Kit if you are currently having issues with your current printer. All right, that's really all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. <laughs>